Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2022 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you got that team in a filler. Andrew ended up with last spot mojo before we pulled the remaining teams out. So thanks everybody for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Brand new release. Empty box. Good luck. I remember Hobby only has one autograph card per box, a lot of parallels, a lot of good stuff in here. Got the uh, Kings Oilers hockey game on in the background, playoff game, game two. So a lot of time left in the game. 11 minutes left in the second period. Kings are down a couple goals. Edmonds is up 2 0. Kings lead the series 1 0. Glad they were able to able to steal game one. So let's see how it works out for them. Oh my Dodgers are playing the Giants too. What, what's going on there? Dodgers up two one, bottom of the fifth. I think everything else is a final in baseball. Wow, Brewers beat the Reds eighteen to four. 17 hits for the Brew Crew. That's a rough season for the Reds. Rockies beat the Nationals 5-2. Austin Gomber with the win. Patrick Corbin takes the loss. Patrick Corbin, what's going on with this season? 0-5 with a 7-1-6 ERA. Bard with the seventh save of the season. Everyone see, I, I, I saw this news earlier this morning. Diamondbacks beat the Marlins 8-7, but um, and Madden Bumgarner got ejected from the game, like early, like in the first inning or something. Like he was walking off the mound or something like that, and they, you know, the, the umpires do the hand check thing now. Apparently it lasted too long. Words must have been exchanged, and Madden Bumgarner was booted from the game. Paven Smith with a two-run homer in the ninth. He's one of their up-and-coming prospects. All right, hobby box number one. Good luck, everybody. Autos tend to be on the top. They seem to pop early. At least in the last case, but maybe not in this case. Now, just as a reminder, I'm sure everybody, uh, I'm sure everybody read the item description. No vet paper, no rookie paper, no prospect paper ship. The only thing that ships will be Bowman first paper, and then obviously Chrome, um, numbered cards, hits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Numbered paper obviously ships too. I don't know what he was booted for. He must have said something. Chris, but he was ejected from the game. There's Yorbit Vivas to four ninety nine. I'm sure Maz and Bumgar got grumpy about something. I'm sure like John Boy might do a do a breakdown or something like that. He's got the audio, maybe some lip reading. Logan Cerny, Blue Lava, 138 to 150. 
That'll be for Justin, uh, Justin Phillips and the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillips, Philly, Philly. From the filler. There you go, Justin. And there's our autograph, Nico Cavadas, Avada Cadavas for Ryan and the Red Sox. Sounds like a, a spell in Harry Potter. There you go. There's our first, and of course we'll do an auto recap at the end of the video. still here. I figured out that's the last hobby. Or the second to last. Alright, so big thanks Nick. He'll be you'll see him on the top camera there. He'll be pack stacking those packs. I'll let this break go by a little bit more quickly. There's Marco Luciano, speckled to 299. That'll be for Travis and the Giants. There's a Brady Allen to 399. That'll be for Mark and the Marlins. Mark Marlin. Wasn't that an old uh, NASCAR driver? Mark Martin. Mark Martin? No, I'm thinking of Sterling Marlin. Mark Martin was a, Mark NASCAR, Martin was a NASCAR driver, but Sterling Marlin was an old NASCAR. I think it was Sterling Marlin. Ah, Diego has the info on what Madison Bumgarner said to be ejected in the first inning. He told the umpire, take your, your, take your effing time. I mean, can't really say that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the umpire was taking too long. Why, why, was, why was the ump so sensitive about this? Get that video. Did you see it? I don't know. I, I didn't see it. The umpire was like staring into Madison Bumgarner's eyes. Really weird. As he was touching his hand? So it was like an intimate moment? <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. Like he was staring at us. Like not, wow. not even looking at his hands. Wow. Good old boy Mass and Mummer is not going to like that, Nick. He's going to have some words. I wonder if it's an umpire he has, he has like a history with. That doesn't, doesn't call his calls balls and strikes for him very well. Other scores around the league. Braves beat the Mets 9-2. Adam Duvall gets a key hit. Two-run double during Atlanta's seven-run sixth inning. Tigers beat the Pirates 3-2. Three, Three errors for the Pirates on the day. Padres beat the Guardians 5-4. Cardinals shut out the Royals 10-0. Adam Wainwright with a win. Chris Bubich with the loss. Verlander solid again as Astros complete sweep of Mariners, says the ESPN headline. Looks like Verlander looking okay after Tommy John. Rays shut out the A's 3-0. Manuel Margot breaking the scoreless tie with a two-run single in the eighth. Over his old team, I think. Or no, he's on, he's on the Rays now. No, he used to be on a... Uh, uh, somewhere else. Red Sox. Red Sox, that's what it was. Pirates beat the Tigers 7-2. And the early, the first game of the, or second game of the doubleheader, Guardians beat the Padres 6-5. Rangers beat the Phillies in extras 2-1. Orioles beat the Twins 9-4. Slowing down the surging Twins. Blue Jays beat the Yankees 2-1. And, uh, and Nick and I were just watching that Angels-Red Sox game. The Angels scored six runs in the 10th inning. And they, they ended up winning the whole thing 10-5. Ward home run, Walsh home run.
Ah, so Diego's got some more. Was He was arguing with the home plate umpire about a call. Then the first base umpire randomly did that. Basically baiting him to say something. I mean, Baumgartner's a, 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 a veteran, though. He, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't fall prey to uh, some umpire shenanigans. Ryan, I should be a sports broadcaster on the side. I don't know if uh, I don't know how lucrative sports broadcasting is. Rent's expensive in LA. I think at best I'd be maybe doing like a college game, a well, junior college game. I don't think I don't think Joe Davis is going in, going anywhere soon for the Dodgers. Oh, these are cool. Bowman in 3D. Blaze Jordan Orange. 19 out of 25. That'll be for the Red Sox. Ryan Donovan with the Bo Sox. Yeah, that's what Nick was just saying. That like the video has him just kind of staring longingly into his eyes while he's massaging his hands. It's an awkward situation. Here's Brady Allen to 125. Maybe it was uh, maybe it was con maybe the maybe he the umpire took the tone incorrectly. Maybe Matt Momware wanted him to take his time. Maybe it felt good. He was like, this is great. A nice little hand massage in between innings. There's Felix Valerio for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Mark and the Brewers. Are you rooting for Connor McDavid here? Nick? Yeah. Unbelievable. What about the hometown team? Connor McDavid can score as many goals as he wants just as long as the Kings win. I know, I think they kind of were lucky to win last night or a couple nights ago anyway. You're well, like lucky to be in the playoffs, like I think. Minus 190 last, or a couple nights ago. They were minus 200 today. Yeah, I don't think they're going to drop two in a row to the Kings. What I did take was the uh, the Kings puck line plus one and a half, Nick. Nice. I wised up. I was about to take them plus like 200 or whatever they were, and I was like, eh. The game's been kind of close. Maybe I'll go puck line. So there's Anthony Rodriguez, 44 out of 150. Blue Wave. Giants. Blue Wave. Blue Shimmer for the Giants going to Travis Melberg. Christian Hernandez to 250, purple paper. That's red with the Cubs. All right, and we'll, of course, we'll do an autograph recap at the end. So each half, each stack right here represents half a box. So here's the box. There's a box. If it's gonna, if someone's gonna score, it better be Connor McDavid, not Bouchard, I'm an or Dries at all. I'm an Oilers fan. You're an Oilers fan now. Yeah. No, I have been. You have been an Oilers fan. I don't think yeah. you've ever mentioned the Oilers to me in all the years we've known each other. Well, that's because not once. You don't, you don't we don't talk hockey. hockey. <laughs> hockey. 
I, I, I don't see any Oilers gear on. Well, I didn't want to make Jason upset. <laughs> Football day. We're not today. All right, fair, fair. All right. Next hobby box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. One auto, a box. Pro it's Bowman. Prospect hunting is the name of the game here. So you may look at some of these names and be like, who are these guys? Well, you're hoping that someone like Christian Roa, 9 out of 50, Gold Shimmer autograph, Bowman first autograph, you're hoping... Cincinnati's hoping, Mark Bissett is hoping that uh, he turns into a perennial all-star. He's a second-round pick, so yeah, you've got to expect him to be up there. So Reds have some players coming up the pipeline. You're hoping that Christian Roa becomes someone. There's Yoel Cespedes, Yoannis' half-brother, to 499, White Sox, Dusty. It's a refractor, Alexander Martinez to 499 for the Halo. Smart. Filler the filler for the next moments for tomorrow. Yeah, no, no one's picking them up. Yeah, we're gonna our third one's coming up right after this, actually. Our last filler, uh, then the team randomizer, and then the then the NT break will be happening, ladies and gentlemen. Right after this, and I'll be able to, should be able to do at least one more jumbo case tonight. And we'll see how I feel. Yeah, watch it was Nick. Mike Tower is saying, turns out Nick, Oiler super fan, was the one who bought that McDavid RPA that was pulled by Jaspies. He was the secret buyer. Got in the lockbox. Safety deposit box from there. I think those atomic parallels are one per box ish, not numbered. And there's Jeter Downs, 134 out of 199. Fuchsia, Lava, Boston, Ryan. Another box, good luck. Austin Martin, I don't think I've seen him in his Twins gear yet, but that'll go to the Twins. And there's Jack Sawinski. Aqua Shimmer to 125 for the Buckos. And that is Chad with the Pirates. And uh, Heriberto Hernandez. Heriberto Hernandez, 120 to 299. Fuchsia Paper for the Rays. That'll be for Tamoya.
next half. And we got Luis Verdugo, 30 out of 75, yellow speckle for Red and the Cubbies. And the autograph, Tyler Whitaker, 456 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Steven and the Astros. boxes on here. All right. Next box. Good luck. This is 12 box hobby, pick your team number two. Thank everyone for joining us. Some speckle coming up. That's Tristan Houses. There he is. Do you have a fan or something? I do. What? Uh, Why is there a breeze in here? Yeah. 001 out of 299. Tristan Casas for the Red Sox it's right there. And there's your auto. Averson Ortega. 134 out of 150 for my rivals, the Giants. Travis Melberg won that spot in the filler. Gets some color, gets an autograph. Nice. And there's maybe future teammate of Ortega. It's Adrian Suga... Sagusti, 42 out of 299. Brent, what's going on, man? The big chase cards. I think we got a player on Miami, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Padres, White Sox, and the Dodgers. Those are the, those are the usual suspects here. I think Watson on Miami. I don't think we've seen him yet. Autograph wise, Dela Cruz on Cincinnati, Valera on Cleveland, Wood for the Padres, Montgomery for the White Sox, Vivas for the Dodgers. I don't think we've seen those autos yet, but those are some of the some those are some of the bigger names. But I mean, the chase right now could be completely different three years later. You know, the chase could be completely. 
that's Bowman, so. But those are your early front runners, I want to say. But product like Bowman, I don't think a lot of people are, most people are grading and holding on to if you want to get the most value out of it. That lime green Colton Welker will be for Andrew and the Rockies. So with Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones and NT, will those cases shoot up to around the same as NT basketball? No. I mean, I think, I think historically NT basketball has always outpaced NT football. I suppose if Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones end up having like Hall of Fame careers, that might be a different story. But there's more Rosemere Quintana for the Nationals. That's for Scott Goodman and Sedan Rafaela. Rafa. Rafaela? 121 out of 299. Speckle for Boston. Ryan. But, I mean, just look at LaMelo Ball RPAs and what they go for in NT. And then what a Mac Jones would go for in NT. Thanks, Nick. There's Luis Verdugo for the Cubs. That'll be for Red. Some NT cases are already over 22,000. I mean, I think NT basketball still has it by another ten, twelve thousand dollars 12000 right? I mean, there's always gonna be ups and downs in the, in the market, but overall, I think, in general, generally speaking, you know, I think NT basketball will usually usually historically outpace NT football. The markets are just a little bit different. NT basketball, a little bit more of a, a, a global audience. You know, the fewer players in basketball than in football. There's Marco Luciano to 150 for Travis and the Giants. Kevin Alcantara to 199, purple paper. You mean the triple logo man? I don't think so. I I, I would have I would feel like I would feel like I would have heard by now if that had been pulled. Onwards, next box. There's Yuendrick Pingan, uh, Pinango, 65 out of 125. Aqua Speckle, another one for Red and the Cubs. 
And there's our auto, Edgar Cueto for Mark and the Halos. Drake, I don't know if yeah, did Drake give up on the on the search? There's Ricardo Genovis to 250, purple paper. It's for the Giants, it's going to go to Travis. Eduardo Lopez, 150, Blue Shimmer for the Red Sox, Ryan. All right, next box. Wonder why I want to hit it so bad? Why does anyone want to hit anything? It's not just about money. It's about being like, hey, look at this awesome card that I have. It's Maximo Costa. Clout. Bragging rights. Show off. Why do rich people buy sports cars? Why do they need the 10th car? Why do they need their fifth house? They can fly first class. Why, why have a private jet, Rex? You gotta think rich, Rex. Gotta think rich. And we got Alec Bohm, 240 out of 299. Fuchsia paper for Justin Phillips and the Phillies. Got it in the filler. Three thirty five to four ninety nine Diamondbacks, Diego. Con Ryan Bliss. Bliss from Burbank. Just 
just about a, about 40 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour from here. I have a hard time thinking rich when you're nowhere near it. Rex, you got to think rich before you can be rich. You can think rich before you're rich. That'll lead you to be rich. Spencer Torkelson, Orange Paper, 24 to 25. Detroit, Jeremy Olson, won that team, got the torque. All right, we have one, two, three, four boxes left, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. I'm not sure about look at celebrity kid. No, they're just spoiled. They're just spoiled. They don't. They don't think. They don't have to think rich. They were born into it being rich. Shailen Polanco, Atomic. There's a, another Diamondback autograph for Diego. It's Gavin Conticello, 28 out of 250. That's right, Rex. That's exactly what Shaq is in. See? You gotta think rich before you can be rich. But if you if you don't open the uh, if you don't open your mind to the idea of, of of what you can do with your wealth in the future, you'll always limit your potential. What was I? I didn't didn't seem like you got it in the first place, Rex. You know exactly what I'm trying to say. You've taken the course. You've been to the Joe Jaspi motivational seminars. There's <laughs> Austin Hendrick to 150. That's for the Reds. That'll be for Mark. And there's Austin Hendrick again to 125. There's Joe Adele to 499. Back in the minors, hopefully he figures it out. Next hobby box. That's 
a refractor. Daryl Lopez, 69 out of 499. Chad with the Pirates. this? Is that a buyback autograph? Three out of 13, Dontrell Willis. Wow. That's the first one I've seen of these. So we got an old Bowman card here from 2007, it looks like. Buyback card, restamped, three out of 13. There's the facsimile autograph. There's his actual autograph. Uh, pretty close. I think kind of kind of dogged it on the last name. That's awesome. That's uh that's Florida Marlins edition. One of the one of the coolest logos I think right there. Right the the F with the with the Marlin intertwined in there. That goes to Mark and the Marlins. It's pretty on. Dontrell Willis actually. In case you're wondering what he's doing, he is on the Dodgers, uh, the Dodgers network. So occasionally he'll do like pre and post game stuff. Just some analyst work. There's Joshua Baez to 99. I think they might kind of work him into some some play by not play by play, but maybe some a color analyst or something like that. I don't think I've heard him on the radio just yet, but or TV, but but yeah, that's what he's doing. There's Benjamin Bailey, 005 out of 250, Purple Chrome. White Sox, that'll be for Dusty. All right, final two boxes coming up. Here's one box. And here's another box. Where is T.O. in Canada? Is he catching passes, touchdown pass from Johnny Manziel? There's Norhe Vera to four ninety nine. White Sox, Dusty. It airs on Twitch? What are they doing on Twitch? Oh, in the fan-controlled football league? I have zero interest in that league.
There's Rosemar Quintana, 173 at a 250. No, no units are going towards that. And there's Robert Dominguez to 499. That'll be for Joe Ivers and the Mets. Refractor autograph. Any short print autos? I don't know of any short printed autos. I know we got a lot of low numbered. How low have we gone on autographs? Maybe to 50, I think? Nothing lower. No, oh, we must have. No, we got an out of 25 autograph. Got an out of 25 autograph. The Great Card Man, since it's full, will NT4 go tonight? I don't think NT4 is full. Yeah, NT4 is not full. I'm looking at the site right now. No, NT4 is not full. So it will not go tonight. And I think we're, we're backed up anyway. So that won't go until tomorrow. Yeah, out of five. Well, I did pull it out of five, but it was non-auto. But out of five auto, that would be crazy. There's J.D. Martinez to 150. Blue paper for Boston, Ryan, for the Red Sox. <laughs> Oilers up 4 nothing now. Being in the third period. I think that's might be an L for the Kings. All right, here we go. Final box. Good luck. We made it. Bragging hard on Facebook about oh about the Kings as he should be the Kings were like almost two to one underdogs going into that with a big with a uh, big win yesterday. Slab saying. Slabs, maybe a, a cat walked across the keyboard. Rear May is what he's saying. There's Benjamin Bailey again to 125. And Blue Lava, Elliot Ramos, 136 out of 150. That'll be for Travis and the Giants. There's Jacob DeGrom to 399. Was it really a cat?
It really was. He was upset there's only been three Dodgers cards in two cases. I know. I want to see more Dodgers too. I don't think we pulled. We we've got a list of these like key players that we're kind of looking out for. I don't think I've seen any of those guys as autographs. There's Eduardo Vaughn. Bowen first autograph for Boston. That'll be for Ryan. Now is our final autograph of the case. Let's see if we have some low numbered stuff, something like that. Parallel. Maybe not. Looks like that, my friends, is that. I think there's been a lot of Dodgers, like Bowman first cards, though. That'll be going your way, so at least we can stack those up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That was 2022 Bowman Baseball 12-box hobby case. Pick your team two. Quick little autograph recap that Dontrell Willis was cool. Buyback, Spencer Torkelson, orange paper. That Blaze Jordan was out at 25 as well. That's a cool insert right here. And we started off with possibly his future teammate, Nico, for the Red Sox. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.